Hey, good morning, Priscilla. I hope things in Ohio are great. Oh, hi, oh, hi, oh. I don't know, there's a way to do that. I don't know what it is. Good morning, Sharon. How are you? I noticed you got some time in the water this weekend. That looked glorious. I hope it was wonderful. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Cindy. How are you this morning? Good. Yes, they are. That's great, Priscilla. Good to hear. I hope everybody's well. Good morning, Bonnie. Good to see you. I love that picture of you with the hat. It's a very bon chapeau. Very nice. Very nice. Super. Good. Good, 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 good. Good morning, Jamie Battles. Good morning, Kristen. How are you? Hope you're well. Idaho. We are sporting uh, 30 years of Hard Rock Cafe this morning. It's the big mug. That's what all you need to know. You can tell the day by the size of the mug. Today we have the big mug. Good morning. Good morning, John. How are you? Good morning, Irene. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Good morning, Linda. Hey, Susan. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Vicki. Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're doing all right. Good morning, good morning. How is everyone? So good to see everybody. So glad you're well. Good morning. It is a good day. It is beautiful out. It is a 10 out of 10 today. So I hope you are enjoying that or can enjoy that. Uh, something glorious in it for sure. Great beauty in it today. Good morning, Bob Guinan. Tell the doctor call. Say hi to the doctor. A PT at noon. All right, we'll promise to be wrapped up by noon. Good. I'm glad you're getting some care on that, which is weird. Yes, it's it is another weirdness on top of all the other weirdnesses. Hey, good morning, Dr. McKinnon. Welcome, welcome. So glad you are here. Welcome, everyone. So good. Everybody's coming by. It's wonderful. So we're going to talk a little bit about the way ahead in the future here at 1111 and Good morning, Deb Votrin. Hello, all. I was, yes, I was in the parade. I was, uh, I, Bob Guinan, who was on here, was good enough to invite me to, to ride with him. We had a, we had a great time. Uh, we represented for, uh, for the Vietnam Veterans of Westport, the, the, their organization. So, uh, and we were in the parade, yeah. Yep, I was looking for a few, I saw a few familiar faces I got to see uh, uh, Judy and Jack, which were great. Hello all, hey Gary, good morning everybody. So yes, it was a good day yesterday, it was really quite fun. Um, it was really amazing in a lot of ways to ride in the parade and to, to not only to represent, you know, such a great organization as that Bob's been a part of, but to just to, to represent all of those and to, to mark the day of the, the one of the, the great, rituals of our days of, of this Memorial Day, remembering the fallen and remembering the warriors that had gone before us. Uh, that and, and in doing that, um, but what was also really powerful was just seeing the, seeing the city come out. So many people came out. Uh, so many people were, were gathered to be able to be a part of, of that day. And it was just how much we are all longing for ritual you decorated your house and had a sign. Oh, I wish I'd have known to, where to look for it. Yep. I was on the passenger side. So if it was on the driver's side, I didn't see much on the driver's side part of the world. So, uh, so that, that was the, that's, that's, that was, that was, that was Bob's lane. So I, I didn't get to see that, but, 
Uh, that's awesome. I am so glad you did that, that we, uh, because it really is this, this time of ritual that, that we, that we got to expect. And it actually came up in the call this morning that we, we talked a little bit about ritual. We actually, we, we came back to our worship space, um, you know, albeit in a reserved way, albeit in a, in a, in a, in a safe way, but we came back this weekend as a way of observing ritual. And, it, you know, we do this 1111 as a way of observing ritual. And, and uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that. I want to talk about the rituals of our lives, because as I've said before about these, uh, they are about that the ritual of our life is really the punctuation marks of our life. And that's one of the reasons we started doing 1111s uh, um, 80 whatever days ago now that that we've been at this that uh, because we, we we've lost immediately we lost so many rituals of our lives that that nothing looked the same and I and when I talk about rituals I'm not talking about just sacred acts I'm talking about the rhythm of life that that when you wake up in the morning there are things that you'll do in the morning that are a part of your the ritual of your day you know your your hygiene ritual is what you do you know that that uh, right down to brushing your teeth there's this way in which we keep the rituals of our lives and our days and that they are the punctuation marks good morning robin of our days so uh so i so and how precious they are and and so i want to start and and if if you wonder this th i want you to hear this uh, hear this hear our scripture this morning because it's it's right at the heart of this and uh, this is what the piece of scripture that you always see at football games you know the John 316 uh, right in the in the uh, it is so good but oh thanks a vet it is so great to have a vet back here oh my god I can think again good lord so we are so blessed that uh, that she is back with us uh, um, in the office here so uh, we are we are thankful and we're we're so thankful she's well uh, thank you, Linda, for bringing that up. That uh, that, but these these rituals of our days. And, and so let's let's uh, so here this. This is John. This is the John three sixteen piece that that uh, um, and a few verses around it. So he, hear these words. And, but this is the message translation. So I'm hoping you hear it a little bit differently. I'm hoping it's a little like eh, like not quite the you know for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son like that. Not that that's wrong. It's just that that uh, often we've heard that so much, or it's it's come to mean something that I think it actually has much deeper meanings to it. So, here it is. This is how much God loved the world. He gave His Son, His one and only Son, and this is why: so that no one need be destroyed by believing in Him. Anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending His Son merely to point an accusing finger telling the world how bad it was. He came to help, to put, right the, to put the world right again. There it is, to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust in him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one-of-a-kind Son of God when introduced to him. Like, oh, Oh, so good that he came to help and to put the world right again, to put the world right again. Our rituals of our days is our putting the world right again. You think about it in the morning, you wake up, boom, you open your eyes and you have, there's this incredible uncarved block of a day that and anything could happen. All manner of chaos has, and often it, and often we see in these days do happen. And yet, and what we, what do we begin with? We begin with the rituals of our days. You know, maybe there's a prayer on our lips. Maybe there's a, there's, there's someone that we, that we, and that, that, that we're with. Maybe there's a way in which we make that cup of coffee. Maybe there's a way in which we brush our teeth. Maybe there's a way that we care for our body. There's a way we dress. There's all of these rituals that begin our days. And that in those, that, those rituals, we are, what are we doing? We are putting the world right again. We are putting the world right again. This time. As, as it has been injected with chaos and the uncertainty about what's going to come, about whether we'll be sick, about what's going to happen, about where it'll go, all of this time, all of it, is, is pregnant with the invitation to set the world right again. 
Now, if we just drive our own order into it, we become the tyrant of our world. We become quite, quite, op quite literally the Antichrist. We become an opposite of the Christ because all we're doing is trying to power and control over all the things that are out there in the world. And we certainly can see plenty of that, that the, the heavy hand just trying to smash down any, any, any dissent, any opposition, anything like that. But when we enter into ritual. It is the sacramentalizing. It's the sacredness. It's making sacred the, the parts of our, the inherent and natural parts of our day. Think about that, the in, inherent and natural parts of our day. Jesus didn't come into this world riding on a cloud, you know, riding on a Pegasus with rainbows shooting out of, out of each eyeball. Jesus came into this world born as we were lived as we do, making sacred every piece and part of the lived experience. That's the, that's the invitation. That is this, this world that Jesus came to, to put the world right again. And every morning we wake up, we're invited into that, to put the world right again. Not through the authoritarian heavy-handedness of control, but the invitation to make sacred the moments of our days again and again and again by making and putting ritual into them. Holy as the day is spent. The great Carrie Newcomer is a who's uh, that's that's one of her that's one of her signature songs is that this notion of the holy as the day is spent. As we spend our days, they, we, we make them sacramental because we have laid our minutes and our hours and our seconds and our desires and our loves and our caring upon them. And this is what God did for all of the universe in Christ. And this is what we are invited to do as a Christian, as a little Christ. That's what Christian literally means, is little Christ. That's what we are invited to do, is to make sacred each one of these ritualized moments of our days. So I want to invite you into your, I want you, if you haven't found the rituals of your days, and if, I would say, I, I would guarantee that you have them by now, like you have them, whatever they are, they're, they're already finding their ways because they're all, because this, it's hardwired into us that these rituals will find their way. So as we come, as we've been separated from some rituals, as we've been, as we're re seeking to reconnect to other rituals, and as we've created new rituals in this hour, whatever they are, they're all a part of the journey of putting the world right again. And man, can we use that? So that's my invitation and my hope for all of you today. And uh, that's part of our journey. Uh, I would ask for a prayer from you. Uh, my friend Matt McDonald is uh, being wheeled into surgery as we speak right now. Uh, he's come, he's preached at the church before. Uh, Matt's a great guy, but he is having gallbladder surgery. Uh, woke up last night and uh, um, a lot of pain and off to the ER. And uh, he's, with all expectations, he's going to be great. Everything will be good. But please, uh, please say a prayer for him. Uh, please, uh, you know, please uh, hold him up in, in these days. Uh, you know, he, it's a, uh, it, uh, that's a, uh, uh, that's a, that's a scary, it's a scary journey. So, um, and also lastly, a point about, um, 1111. So, um, we are back, we are here at our platform. We're, you know, we're certainly not in full, uh, compass of all that we are, but, but here I am, uh, in the Souter library. Uh, you know, this is, uh, if there's, if there's not a more beautiful or stately piece of the, the church than this, I, I don't, I haven't found it yet, uh, that, that, uh, we are here and we, uh, and so, um, but we are going to continue 11-11. So we're going to continue 11 Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of the week. So that's going to be our invitation. That's is that that will uh, that uh, you'll find us here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 11-11. Um, it'll uh, it'll uh, we'll we will uh, we'll come and uh, and uh, continue to journey through this time. Um, again, we'll always we'll we'll continue to have our worship online and all that and, and all that. So through these days, so uh, please uh, please hold on to that. And so with all of this, um, help put the world right again, gang. Don't let the anxiety of it just be that great heavy-handed totalitarian must make order out of things kind of being. But but make sacred these moments of waking 
and eating and loving and being a part of this of this life. So with that, uh, I want to I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And uh, I am ever grateful for the community of that for for uh, having uh, all of you on this journey uh, with me. Uh, we seek to hold one another close and uh, and uh, keep the rituals of our days. Thank <laughs> you.